The following video is part of my Building IPv6 Service Provider Core webinar. To learn more about my webinars, please visit my website. Next, integration with RADIUS. This obviously only works over PPPoE. PPPoE session is established, PPP LCP starts, after LCP starts, we run CHAP. With CHAP, the PE router collects the username and the password and then goes and asks the radio server. Radio server responds with the IPv6 prefix that you should assign to the virtual access interface. So this is the prefix for the link. CHAP acknowledgement goes back. PEA installs the IPv6 prefix on the virtual access interface. If the remote end is a host, we are done, the host is connected, we are in business. If the remote end is a router, it will send the HCPv6 request. So first, of course, we do the stateless auto configuration, no problem, and then the DHCPv6 request comes in. Now, there are a few things we can do. The temporary solution, let's hope it stays temporary, is implemented in iOS at the moment. PE sends another radius request to the radius server with a different username. So it uses the same username as before and appends dash DHCPv6 to it. No password. The password is empty. And then the radio server should reply with a different IPv6 prefix, and that other IPv6 prefix is then passed to the remote CPE in the DHCPv6 reply. So in this case, the PE router is really a DHCP server. It's not a relay, a DHCP relay, it's a server but it gets the bindings from the radio server. Question from Yusuf. Uh, it should do the trick also with PPPoA? Yes, absolutely. So I was a bit imprecise. When I said it works with PPPoE, I should have said it works with anything that establishes a PPP session. To get more information about my webinars, to register for an online session, or buy a recording, or a yearly subscription, please visit my website.